this video, we're learning how to divide fractions and whole numbers. So the top of our screen says to divide a fraction in a whole number, turn the whole number into a fraction by putting it over one, then divide using keep change flip. So we're basically just going to turn the whole numbers into fraction by putting them over one. And then we're just going to divide like we normally would divide fractions by using keep change flip. So let's take a look at example one which is 2 thirds divided by 6. So we're going to start by changing 6 into a fraction. So we're going to keep 2 thirds as it is. So we have 2 thirds divided by, and to change a whole number into a fraction, we just put it over 1, because 6 is just the same as 6 over 1. And now we're going to keep change flip. So remember, keep change flip means keep the first fraction as it is. So we keep 2 thirds, change the division sign to a multiplication, and flip the second fraction upside down, so 6 over 1 becomes 1 over 6. And now we're just going to multiply straight across, but we don't want to forget to cross reduce or simplify our fractions before we start. So we can cross reduce the 2 and the 6 by dividing them both by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So now on the top we're multiplying 1 by 1, which is just 1. On the bottom, we're multiplying 3 by 3, which is 9, so we get 1 9th. Let's take a look at example 2, which is 15 divided by 18 24 So this time we have the whole number divided by a fraction, but we're still going to use the same method. So we're going to start by changing 15 into a fraction by putting it over 1. We're going to keep the rest of our problem the same, so we have divided by 18 24 and now we want to keep change flip. So we're going to keep the first fraction as it is, change division to a multiplication, and flip the second fraction to become 24 over 18. And now we want to see if we could cross reduce and simplify our fractions. So we can cross reduce 15 and 18 or we can simplify 24 over 18. So I'm going to simplify 24 over 18 first. So I can simplify it by dividing the top and bottom by 6. 24 divided by 6 is going to give me a 4 on the top. 18 divided by 6 gives me a 3 on the bottom. So now I have 15 over 1 times 4 over 3. And now I can cross reduce 15 and 3 by dividing them both by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. And now I'm just going to multiply straight across. So 5 times 4 on the top gives me 20. 1 times 1 on the bottom gives me 1. And 20 over 1 is just 20. So we get 20 as our answer. Let's go over two more examples. So for these last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own. And then you can watch me work through them to make sure you did them correctly. So example 3 is 15 25 divided by 12. So we're going to solve this the same way we solve the other two. So we're going to start by just changing the whole number into a fraction. So we're going to do that by putting it over 1. And now we're going to keep change flip. So keep 15 25 change division to multiplication, and flip 12 over 1 to be 1 over 12. And now we want to see if we could simplify or cross reduce. So we can simplify 15 over 25 by dividing the top and bottom by 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 25 divided by 5 is 5. So now we really have 3 fifths times 1 twelfth. And now we can still cross reduce the 3 and the 12 by dividing them both by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. And now we're going to multiply straight across. So 1 times 1 is going to give us a 1 on the top. And 5 times 4 is going to give us a 20 on the bottom. So we get 1 20th. And our last example is 7 divided by 14 fifteenths. So we're going to change 7 into a fraction by putting it over 1. And now we're going to keep everything else the same. And now we're going to keep change flip. So we keep 7 over 1 as it is, change division to multiplication, and flip our second fraction to become 15 over 14. And now we want to see if we could simplify or cross reduce. 
So we can't simplify 15 fourteenths, but we can cross reduce the 7 and the 14 by dividing them both by 7. So 7 divided by 7 is 1, and 14 divided by 7 is 2. And now we'll multiply straight across. So 1 times 15 is going to give us 15 on the top, and 1 times 2 gives us 2 on the bottom. So we get 15 over 2, and I'm just going to write this as a mixed number also. So 2 goes into 15 7 times, and 2 times 7 is 14. So we have 1 left over. Put that over a denominator of 2. So we get 15 over 2, or 7 and a half, as our answer. So I hope this video helped you guys learn how to divide fractions and whole numbers. You really just have to remember that you want to change the whole number into a fraction by putting it over 1, and then you're just going to divide using keep, change, flip.